It's 15 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now because there's a cold snap going through and we're in the snow biome on top of that. It is way too cold for me to set out right now. Um, if I if I get away from this campfire, let's get the torch out and get away from the campfire. The little parka icon is my temperature. You see how that's dropping? Um, e so even with the torch, um, we're, we're in the red. And what that means is we're going to rapidly lose food and then start rapidly losing health. Welcome back, everybody. To Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series. No, this is not. This is the Snow Biome Survival Series. I'm so used to saying the Wasteland Survival Series, uh, where we play the game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so um, my oh shit, there's a spider on the roof over there. My, uh, I'm just wondering if he actually climbed up there or if he spawned up there i mean he's certainly capable of climbing up there you know what i don't think he could climb up here because i think there's overhangs on these eaves anyhow um my plan was that i was going to you know make the campfire and um make some bacon and eggs and get my food up um, and kind of do all that stuff before i started the next episode however i forgot one very important thing we need a cooking pot to do that so what i did uh, was I made some charred meat, started eating it, and I got the frickin' uh, food poisoning uh, debuffs. Now we're actually in worse shape than we were before we 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 um, we started. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try it again, try and get our our food back up. Um, and you know, if it procs again, it procs again. But uh, our main goal for this episode is we've got to get ourselves a cookie pot, because you know we've got that um, we've got plenty of meat and eggs to make bacon and eggs but we can't do that without the cooking pot okay one more time oh okay we're good Whew. Oh, okay so that'll get our food back um above 50 anyways and definitely not going to get it all the way back up uh, so we still have 40 pieces of meat and 18 eggs uh to make bacon and eggs once we do find that cooking pot i'm, I'm also you know thirsty now from drinking or eating all that charred meat and we have three jars so we'll also be oh i guess we have 60 three meat okay yeah um we're also going to need more jars too which almost certainly we will find as we look for the cooking pot okay so that means we need to find sinks um we got a house there we got a house there and there might be a sink inside this gas station as well there probably is there's Larry walking around down there. So I guess let's try the gas station for... Oh, jeez. There's Larry walking down there, too. Let's try the gas station first. And, uh... Because, you know, it's pretty small. And just see what happens here. Whoops. I'm gonna leave that there. Wow, this is like so dangerous right now because of the fact that there's a lot of zombies around right now and i don't want to have to deal with outside zombies as well as inside zombies so we're just gonna have to be really 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 quiet here okay this door is unlocked damn there's a zombie right there see i, w I don't mind fighting him but I don't want to aggro Larry and the spider on on the roof above us at the same time is the thing. This is getting too this is getting too dangerous. <laughs> oh my goodness all right well yeah that that would have almost certainly have attracted one of these other larry's if i would have started i mean look at them all there's three right there four well three and then a, a different zeke oh this is crazy okay um yeah i mean if i would have started fighting 
that sleeper right inside, there was a high probability that we either would have aggroed Larry immediately or he would have rocked, walked around the corner while we were fighting. And uh, that would not have gone well for us. So one thing we can do, though, is we can let Larry go ahead and open the building for us. Not that we really needed that because we had an unlocked door. And while he's messing around with that, we could maybe try and bail off this side and maybe hit that house over there. Okay, there is a, uh, like one of the fast food stores over there, too, that would have sinks in it. All right, it's morning. There are zombies all over the place, man. All over the place. Okay, well, I think... I think maybe we try and bail off this way and head over there. That could... We could break a leg jumping off of here, though, too. That's the... Another issue. We jumped down onto the car, but even that's sort of kind of far. Well, we can't stay up here all day. Oh, we're, now we have a spider aggroed. What the hell? <laughs> this is not going well. This is not going well. All right, I, oh, shit. I'll tell you what we could do. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's make a splint. Oh, shoot. We need cloth for that, too, huh? Do we have any? I don't know if I have any cloth. I don't. Well, I'm not going to be able to do that, either. We're in a bit of a pickle here. A bit of a pickle here. I mean, I don't mind jumping off the building and trying to get away. The problem is, is if I break my leg, we're, we're going to be in such dire straits. All right, well, here, let's do this. Let's put um, our third spear on our toolbar, and we'll put... Uh, let's keep... We better keep our hammer. Well, I don't think we'll need our hammer. Let's put our bow down there. And what I'm going to do is have this ready to put down. Uh, we'll we'll nerd pull up on it, and then we'll put the land claim block on top of it and make our little cheese tower that we've made before. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> he just saw us again. Oh, goodness. This is not going well for us, you guys. Not going well at all. All right, let's go back over here. I think what I'm going to have to do is um, I might have to just wait for a while. So what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here. I mean we are we're thirsty, but we're not we're not seriously thirsty. I'm gonna go over on this side of the building, and I'm just gonna wait for a while for things to calm down, and then I'm gonna quietly sneak over to the other side and see if we can bail off the other side. All right. So I will bring you back uh, after we wait for a bit for things to calm down. All right, guys. So I've waited I don't know about an in-game hour or so. And nobody's currently aggro me, but they're still sticking around here. So let's just, as quietly as we possibly can, inch forward this way. Oh, yeah, like that did a whole lot of good. <laughs> good gravy, what am I supposed to do? You heard me like with one tiny, tiny, tiny step. Okay. Well, we might just have to, to, to jump down. Pray to God that we don't break our leg and and make a run for it. I mean, even if I if I was on the ground and I could get my little tower set up, I can fight him. I just can't do anything from up here. I don't have enough arrows or enough p 
punch with my bow to, to be able to effectively shoot him. All right, well, here goes nothing. Okay, so we got away from him. And nobody detected us. That's good. So, Operation Find a Cooking Pot. Uh, we're not going to be looking for one. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's... Should we set this up right now? I kind of want to use this land claim block, you know, to block doorways and stuff, too. Let's just see what that guy's going to do. All right, let's not set this up quite yet. Let's move around this way. Uh, no. I don't need those for anything. Okay, I don't see any sleepers in my immediate view. Oh, we can use that. We'll definitely take that. We're freezing. Of course we are. Okay, let's get that out to... Hopefully that removes the freezing. Come on, remove the freezing, please. It doesn't remove the freezing. Oh my god, we must have, just, we must have a cold front coming through. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. Okay, well, it is what it is. Uh, just make sure there's no sleepers in this yard anywhere. Alright, let's... Okay, we're back to... Uh, we are back to the uh, the orange snowflake instead of the red one. So at least we kind of have this fence to buy us a little bit of time if something comes up from behind us. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bust down this door, and hopefully we can do so without attracting any Zekers. If we do, though... I can set that there to block them. Alright, let's try this. Alright, here we go. Very, very quietly. Okay, there's a sleeper right there. I think what we should probably do is just wake him up and kill him um and he's he's just a normal zombie he's not gonna be super tough so we can probably just use a normal wood frame um all right let's do that let's block that off okay and then let's just see if we can wake him up. That's wood? Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we woke up two of them. Over here, man. Ooh, nice. Okay, and then we've got Marlene over there. Or Darlene, or whatever her name is. Send a couple arrows her way. Soften her up a bit. Okay, I'm not going to waste any more arrows on her because... Here she comes. There we go. Come on, lady. Is she is she feral? You'd think we would have killed her by now. I can't quite reach her from here. I mean, cause we we hit her like I don't know what eight times and caught her on fire. She should be dead by now.
No, nope, she was just a normal. We're just <laughs> we're just weak as hell. That's all there is to it. Oh my goodness. All right. So, um, those are both the same strength. So let's just break this one out. Wait for our stamina to come back. We're we're really weak right now because and. Uh, we're super cold, we're super hungry, we're super thirsty. Just in bad shape all the way around. Okay, now, let's hope we can find a cooking pot in here. I don't want to look, uh, poke my head in through here real quick first. We got um, little girl Arlene zombie over there. Ooh, there could be sleepers in there too. Okay, well, let's just block this with a normal wood block for now. And let's also block that from this side now, because we got zombies right outside there. I just want to look around here really quick. Okay, yeah. Arlene's right around that corner there. So we should also block this. Okay, so that uh, should help to keep us somewhat protected, at least temporarily. Let's upgrade that to one level. Okay, now, we have got to find a cooking pot. So let's go into the kitchen here. Got to stay quiet. And, oh man, the stove would have been our best bet, and it's one that we can't loot. Oh, we will take that right now. <laughs> we will take that right now. Um, let's just scrap that. There we go. There we go. Okay, whew. Oh, that's what we needed. That is what we needed. All right, so I'm wondering if we should... How about some coffee? Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's take that right now. That gives us another jar, too. And that'll help keep us warm and get some hydration back. Um, I'm wondering if we should change our uh, base of operations from that roof because... I just don't have any way, you know, to fight anything while I'm up there. A and B, you know, we're exposed to the elements, so we have the cold issue. Whereas if we have a shelter like this, at least, you know, we can stay warm. Look at those jars piling up. Beautiful. Eight jars. And we got some more food, too. Uh, I'll hang on to that for the moment. And two more jars. Beautiful. Okay, so... Um, what, what might behoove us is to, you know, have some, well, the, I guess the other thing though is do we want to stay here? We really probably should keep moving towards the trader. The trader's not that far away. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to do that, guys. I think we're going to go back up to the roof. We're going to make bacon and eggs. Um, and then we're just going to move out, uh, because I want to be, I want to find the trader a, and then I want to find a POI close to the trader that we can actually set up our actual base in. So it's probably not going to be worth our while uh, to put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into doing something here in this little town. Uh, I will keep the bedroll on that roof, so if we do die, however, you know, uh, at least we can spawn back in that particular location. We might come back to this place so at some point in time. Um, and loot it some more and whatnot, but right now, let's just get some cloth. Right now, I think our best bet is just to keep moving. There is something up there. It looks like it's probably just trash. I'm not, I'm not necessarily even familiar with this POI anyway. We could kill... 
Marlene just to get a little bit more XP. We're not even halfway to the next level yet. What is up there? Okay. I'll take both of those things. And let's take the water now. We can stop by and dip these jars in the lake uh, on the way out of town. Um, and we can also, you know, of course, get snowballs too. I believe we've looted... Oh, we didn't loot the fridge. Another egg. Look at that. All right, cool. And we found a cooking grill too, which is going to be useful. All right, let's kill her just to get a little more XP. Oh, well, we're not going to be able to kill her if she stands on the spikes. Where is she going? <laughs> Come on, Ar Arlene. Arlene, Marlene. Darlene. There you are. See if we can catch her on fire. Yep, look at that. Beautiful. Doesn't seem to do a whole lot. Give me my arrow back. Okay, so we got a little tiny bit of XP for killing her. All right. Um... You know, with that, there is a little walkway thing we doodle up there. Let's just check that out really quick before we move on. It might yield something useful to us. Oh, uh, we don't have any frames left. I don't want to put the lamp claim block down. Let's just be really quiet. <laughs> Good lord. Here I was thinking there was going to be some loot in there. I should have known though, because they put a trap, a trigger thing down there, right? To, uh, you know, to probably to, to alert that Zeeker. Oh man. All right. Well, let's get the, let's get the kill. Might as well. Gets a little more XP here. Oh, look! There's the end loot! How many more Zeekers are in here? Wow, I had no idea the end loot was in here. Okay. Well, let's kill this guy. You know, I'm starting to think I probably should have... Put my points into a uh, pummel Pete and did a, a stone sledge instead of a spear. But it's too late now. I mean, we already did our points. So we'll just make the spears work for now. But we can still do a stone sledgehammer too. Is that really the only zombie in here? Oh, man, we hit the jackpot, you guys. Okay, hopefully we can find an AK. An AK would be super, 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 absolutely duper, 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 super useful right now. Yeah, I'm not, I am not, I don't think I've ever done this PI before. I had no idea this is where the loot was. All right, food. We want that. Oh, baby, look at that food. Beautiful. We're going to eat all of it. I'm not even worried about saving sham and all that for sham chowder later. That's so much further down the road right now. We just got to take care of here and now. Do we get hydration from beer? Stamina. I don't think we do. I don't think we do. So we might as well just hang on to it for now. We it might actually save our ass later on. Okay, good. That'll get that'll get our food. Um, I think uh, uh, for a minute there, I was wondering if that was a wandering horde. Okay, guys, cross your fingers, man. We have the chance here to get some really good stuff. Let's start with the weapons bag. I have no luckies to put on, so. Um, all right, that's completely useless to us. This we might actually put to use. The only problem is this is going to really use our stamina, though. 
and that's probably something I'll just hang on to and sell when we get to the trader. In fact, likewise, we'll do the same with this. Um, either that or we'll get rid of that. Okay, well, that wasn't so good. Let's try the reinforced chest. Oh, man, doggone it, game. I mean, that's good stuff, but that's not what we need. And I don't think I'm going to put these on because they're going to make us noisy and slow us down. So we're going to sell all that shit. All right, well, we have two shoddy messiah crates. Come on, game. We need an AK because we already have seven six twos. <sighs> Last chance. Well, that sucks. That absolutely, totally, completely sucks. I mean, it's not that this stuff is, is bad. It's pretty decent stuff. It's just not what we need right now. <sighs> okay, well... Can I put, uh, I could put that on there. <laughs> Might as well, right? Um, you know what, though? If we put a burning shaft mod on, that would actually also help. I think it would help keep us warm, wouldn't it? Light source and set, I don't know. We'd have to, uh, we'd have to, to test that. So let's just put it on here for now. And when we go outside, I'll, I'll equip it, and I'll see if it does anything to, to help keep us warm. All right, well, we got three explosives, which could be, could come in handy at some point. Um, this we're definitely going to sell, and we're definitely going to sell this. And I don't know, I might... Hey, oh, wait, insulated liner mod. What am I thinking? That's going to actually come in handy. <laughs> I'm not thinking at all. Uh, duh. Okay, yeah, let's put that on. Oh, no, are you shitting me? Can you... Oh, I bet you can only put that on armor. All right, well, we are going to hang on to that. I wasn't, uh, my brain wasn't even registering. I mean, we could put these on to put this on, but, you know, it, it increases our noise by 20%. That's just not worth it at this point in time. Okay, so this wasn't a total, total bust. We got some somewhat decent stuff. Is there going to be another Zeker in there? I'll bet you there is. There's lots of Zekers in there. There's also a suitcase, which could have some clothing that we could really use. Um, I don't know. I mean, we have these. <laughs> we could just toss a grenade in there, but the problem is the grenade could blow up the suitcase, too. Yeah, we better not. We better not mess with that. Let's just go. Okay, so again, I mean, it was it was great that we found that loot, and we did get a couple of useful things. I just wish we would have found an AK, but we'll find one eventually. There's Larry out there. Two Larrys. All right, well, let's get outside first, and then we'll, we the, our our first most pressing thing we need to do, and actually, it's not really pressing now. We found a lot of food in here, but I want to get those bacon and eggs made and get our health and stamina um yeah you know what let's do i'm not going to take this bandage but i'm going to make a normal bandage so that we can make sure our cap is maxed out and then when we eat a bacon and eggs that should get our health back to max too we'll save these things for for more dire situations i don't think we need that we could make one thing of cornbread with that, which might come in handy. So let's hang on to it for the moment. All right, so we got a couple Larrys out that way. Let's see if we can avoid those dudes. I'm going to make myself our little fighting platform here, so that way if we do get pinned down again, we can jump down on top of this and actually kill some, kill whatever's harassing us. Let's go ahead, too, and make another one of these for later. Later. 
All right, we have our cooking pot. And we're just going to make as many bacon and eggs as we can. While we're doing that, we should make some water too. Probably just going to be quicker to get some get some snow. As long as the uh, Zeekers don't harass us. Oh, we were going to see if the spear does anything to warm us up with the flames on it. It does. Oh, man, that's awesome. Okay, so that's going to... That's going to allow us to, you know, kind of kill two birds with one stone. Very nice. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So now, um, can we make... Okay, we, we can make... Oh, okay, so it takes... 10 snowballs. Wait, what? No, it's a it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, good. All right, so we'll have to make the murky water first, and then we have to convert that into fresh water. We might as well make this corn bread to uh, make cornbread from this and eat that to, to help top off our, our food there. All right, guys, so we've got uh, 10 things of bottled water, uh, one cornbread, which we're going to eat right now. And then nine bacon and eggs. Uh, I'm gonna eat one of those right now, and that should that should get our our stamina cap all the way back to the top. And of course, it, our health is back to the top too. Well, we don't need to drink anything, so we're okay with our hydration. We do have one problem though, and that problem is that if you look in the upper left-hand corner of my screen. Um, by the way, I'm using the SMX HUD mod. Uh, I use that pretty much exclusively now. Um, you'll notice that that middle icon that shows the thermometer is it's 15 degrees Fahrenheit Fahrenheit outside right now because there's a cold snap going through and we're in the snow biome on top of that it is way too cold for me to set out right now um, if I if I get away from this campfire let's get the torch out and get away from the campfire the little parka icon is my temperature you see how that's dropping um, e so even with the torch um, we're, we're in the red and what that means is we're going to rapidly lose food and then start rapidly losing health. So we really just can't go anywhere right now. Uh, we're going to have to wait until the temperature, the overall temperature, the ambient temperature, um, you know, warms up a little bit before we can go anywhere at all. So I think this is a good place for us to wrap up the episode. And I'm just going to sit here and let the clock tick. I've got plenty to drink. I've got plenty to eat now. Um, and wait until that temperature rises before before we set out uh, and continue working our way towards the trader. Because, like I said, it's just too damn cold for us to leave. I mean, I got a I've got a torch in my hand, and I'm standing next to a campfire, and I'm still, you know, at 50 degrees uh, body temperature, which is still too damn cold. <laughs> um, so, and then I'm also I was kind of trying to decide what I'm going to leave behind for now. Um, so I, th I think this is what we'll leave here. We will come back for this stuff later, but the, I, I don't need any of this stuff right here and now. Um, a lot of this stuff I'm going to take, I'm taking with me because I can sell it. Oh shit. Let's get to keep that fire going. Um, uh, because I can sell it, you know, to the trader. So I'm going to take it with me. Uh, but we only have one additional slot. So, yeah, I, I mean, I can always chuck the plant fibers because those are... You know, that's something we can easily redo. But, um, you know, I don't think we need to take the cooking grill with us either now that I think about it. This I'm going to sell, so that's why I'm taking it with me. But I'm going to keep the sawed off a mod for now. You know what, though? We can't use this on an actual sawed off. We can only use it on a long shotgun. 
Uh, so maybe I'm going to do that the other way around, because it's not likely we're going to find an actual pump shotgun anytime soon. It's more likely we're going to find a double-barreled short, you know, shorty. All right, so yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, I suppose we could leave our explosives here for now, too. I, it, I will definitely come back for this stuff at some point. I just can't take it all with me right now is the thing. This is hardly worth the effort. You know, we should probably... I'll keep it until I need to get rid of something, and then that and that will be the first two things to go. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. Um, and I will see you in the next episode, and we will pick up right from here as soon as it's warm enough for us to set out, and we'll go from there. Talk to you later. Bye.